Excuse me, sir. Have you found the rebels? Uh, we found one of these in, in one of the escape pods. Bring it to me. <laughs> what did they say? But they, they said you couldn't solve it. What's up guys and welcome back. Today, we are looking at a really interesting puzzle. Actually, Lee, I forgot. Over there on the table, there's a piece of paper. Thanks, bro. I've received a letter and the letter has been wax sealed. You know, you know there's something important to say when the person has taken the time and wax sealed the letter. So, uh, caught my attention right away, opened it up. This was inside, by the way. These are uh, candles to wax seal things. Andrew McGill writes, I had the idea for this puzzle on the same day I decided to take up machining as a hobby. It ended up taking several years of getting my first machines, making improvements to them, buying tools, learning and practicing how to use them all, and working on the puzzle's design before I was able to make the first one. All 25 parts in this puzzle, not including the ball bearings and springs, were machined, finished, and assembled one at a time entirely in my basement workshop. The first one is mine. Number two is now yours. If anybody else is interested, I'm willing to make a few more. You can find out more at ominushum.com slash puzzle. I'll leave the link below. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to see you solve it. Andrew McGill. Uh, this definitely caught my attention. This puzzle looks insane. Right up my alley. It's a, uh, I'm guessing a sequential discovery as it makes noise. You don't really know what's going on, but you do have a few things that actually move around, which is fun. So appreciate that. I think this is really cool. It seems to house a small compartment as well. Uh, not sure what's in there. I'm guessing. My guess is there's going to be a wax seal in there because he gave me all these. So that's my guess but who knows and let's get into solving uh whatever this puzzle is no name let's go oh by the way hope hope you guys enjoyed that intro we worked really hard on it okay so if you're gonna like this video if you don't like puzzles and you're gonna tune out halfway and you're gonna forget to hit the like button just just saying just hit it now if you did enjoy that intro it's all i'm asking all right let's go there you have it this is uh this is a good looking puzzle, let me tell you. As mentioned as well, a gift from a viewer, which is very cool. I have some of the coolest viewers in the game for you guys to for you guys to make stuff like this, which is mind boggling <laughs> and send it to me. It's pretty dope. So I appreciate that. Guess the whole point here is to just open this. As I mentioned, there's probably something on the inside. I'm gonna get this camera to stop uh, focusing in and out. Or should I just keep it? Should we just keep that autofocus on? By the way, I got my trusty lightsaber here in case anything goes wrong. We have a timer in case I mean, in case nothing to document my uh, upcoming madness. I feel like this puzzle is going to take me a long time. This looks like one of those puzzles that would, like the sequential discovery. So let's uh, let's manual focus this here. There we go. So first things first, uh, we got dots here. Are all the dots the same? All the dots are indeed the same. The amount of dots are the same. We have little beads or ball bearings going through uh, those dots these these sorry these tubes and then we also have these openings here on the side these sort of crevices here i can focus in on that for you and you can see right here we have these crevices and these tend to rotate i'm guessing that's what sort of lets the uh lets the ball bearings through so let's try and uh, make something happen So this is the only one that can rotate right now. It goes back and forth. And this one does not. This one, oh, this one does as well. Oh. Now that rotated twice. What's happening? I don't know. Okay, so guessing here that these pins also uh, probably stick out on the inside here and are what prevent or what's preventing me from from lifting this and separating this piece 
a guess again. I've got popcorn as well. This one wants to turn, but can't, is there, is shaking this going to, okay. Oh, I just noticed something. So here we have, these are all really stuck together. These ones, as you can see, are kind of loose and separated. That might be a hint. Now they're tight. Now they're loose, why is that? This is so weird. There's like some pattern here. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, there is some pattern happening here. How come I can move this one so freely now? Maybe I'll put them all to that oval dot and that's what, that's how it's done. It's very bizarre and also very alien-like, which is fitting because I feel like this, this is some future piece of technology. See, look, if I turn that there, this one will not turn. And I turn it, and now this will by one notch. Why is that? Okay, I've gotten them all to like the end. You see there's like these little dots. I've gotten them all to the end of those dots. So I've gotten the outer dot on this glass piece here to line up with the outer dot on the brass piece. Not sure if that's what I have to do. Um, now I'm going to try and bring them all towards the middle. If I can focus on a pattern here. And I feel like I'm going backwards now. Oof. Why the beads though? What's happening? Why is... That one's now lined up with the middle. This one's one off and that one's two off but I can't move them towards the middle. Move this one away, one. Move that one closer, one. That one's now stuck. That one now moves away, one. Stuck, stuck. Where is it, hold on. Okay, we just went back to the end. All right, so there is some type of pattern and I do expect it to be something to do with lining up uh, that middle part. Hands starting to hurt, 10 minute mark. I haven't found a distinct pattern to bring, bring the dots into alignment yet. Um, I've kind of been moving in one direction to either one side or the other side, uh, never towards the middle. So here, okay. What if, you know what, what if we number these things? All right, so I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker and I'm going to go one, two, three. We will find a pattern. That one doesn't move, okay. Two, three, one. Three, oh no, two goes that way. Two, and one moves twice. Two. Three, one. Oh. oh, just lined up the one. But now obviously it has to unalign for the other ones to come back into alignment. Now the two's aligned, but my one is so far out of alignment. Now my one's back on. Oh, I can't just turn it once. When this thing has to turn twice like this, I have to, because if I just turn it once, none of these move. So it's got to go all the way. So there is a sequential order and there is like a, the, a sort of code here. I just have to crack it. Three now, one, two, three. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, that one is lined up with a dot. That one is lined up with a dot. Only this one now left. I believe we're close. I hope we're close. This couldn't, whoa, this one could just move freely now? How though? Okay. I don't understand how that makes sense, but, oh, but now it can't, only when it's here. Oh, look at this. Watch when I pull and watch when this, look at that. 
the dot is over here. If the dot is in the middle, it doesn't open like that. But if as soon as the dot travels to the end here, watch, now it opens up. Right there. I think solving this upside down might be key just in case you unlock it. Having such a hard time with this. So what I've gathered so far that there is a pattern when you get like, the, one thing is though, on one point I got, I freed up the whole thing so the whole thing could twist and I don't know how that happened. But when that did happen, I discovered that if I made it to the last dot, so these all have, how many dots? Three, seven. So you got three dots, a big dot, and then three dots. So if I get to the right side, they seem to dislodge from the base cylinder. So that right now is the goal. See? So right there is the dot. It lines up with the last dot here. There are no more dots. So it lines up with the last dot and it opens further. See if I close it, it doesn't open. Now watch me twist it and pull it apart. See that? It wants to come out but I can't obviously keep that there because I have to solve the rest of the puzzle and thus have to end up moving that to move the other ones and at which point I'm completely lost. Okay, interesting. I'm completely on the wrong side. I'm completely on the ends now. Every single cylinder is on the last dot on the first dot to the left. So every single cylinder lines up these dots perfectly with the last dot on the cylinder. Now I have to literally spin all of these in the opposite direction. So I'm at like the exact starting point, I would say. The exact opposite of where I wanna be. Sorry if I'm not speaking, I'm in deep thought right now. This is kind of busting my head. Oh, I'm so close. I'm two out of three. Two out of three dots are on the end. I don't know if that'll open it, but that's where I want to be. Anyways. Now I'm going back to the beginning. Okay, finally, I can do either this move or this move. And that changes, seems to change everything. Yeah, okay, I'm stuck. Two out of three. Two out of three. Oh, <gasps> all three, baby. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. What? Look at, look at this thing. Dude. That is insane. Yo. This is brilliant. Wow. I'm speechless. Look at this. Okay, see this bead here? This bearing? As long as it's in that hole, which happens to be where that dot lines up with that last dot here, right? So you see all around it, you see all these little dots. And that last dot happens to line up with the dot on the acrylic, which allows this pocket in this brass tube to push that bearing down. Otherwise, that bearing, like right now, it does not protrude, it is completely within that. Otherwise, it would protrude 
and you can you can see that it's protruding right there and otherwise it wouldn't otherwise it would do this oh there you go gone wow and so this this complex chamber of bearings and mechanisms and pipes to ultimately release that this is a genius puzzle i am sorry this is insane and we have a prize on the inside Whoa. <laughs> and he wrote down the solution i love that he put the solution on the inside that's oh, that's so awesome Okay, and it gives you uh, like the patterns and everything. A lot of it was intuition based. I'll be quite frank with you. Most of that was not based on pure logic. Although I knew I had to get somewhere because of pulling apart and some of those, uh, as soon as I got to the end point, they sort of loosened up. So I knew that that's where I had to be, but getting there is a whole different, a whole different thing. So it's quite difficult, let me tell you. All right, so I'm opening this. I'm anxious to see what the solution looks like. Wow, what? I guess green is left or right and yellow is right or left and oh there are the moves zero one two but where's move number three three is down here what and then four where's four three four five what i don't understand i'm gonna have to write this guy this is this solution boggles my head more than the uh, the puzzle all right let's check out the let's check out the prize so he did send us some wax so I'm guessing this is like a wax seal. Oh man, what a wax seal too. <gasps> Get out of here. Yo. He made both my logos into wax seals. That is so dope. So this unscrews, I bet, or what? How's this? All right, we test this in the outro. This is an insane puzzle. Let me grab one of these first hats, by the way. You can check that out at first.shop. Hot! Dang! We did it! That was it. The nameless puzzle. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know what to say other than if you, by the way, Andrew, if you just sent me this along with this, it would have taken me longer to figure out how this opens. Just saying, I have no idea what this is. If you can hit me up by email, Andrew, and explain this to me, that would be dope because I would really love to get this puzzle down to like a fair science, not just playing in the dark and, and figuring things out. I wanna, I wanna understand it. We get to wax stamp our uh, our logo, my logo on things now, which is cool. But only for the important stuff. We've established that wax seal requires a level of importance. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for all the support. Hope you really enjoyed this uh, video. A little bit different than the other ones because there wasn't a lot of talking. There wasn't a lot I could let you in on during this puzzle, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways for whatever reason. If you did, like this video, subscribe and all that stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.